The timeline in LumaFusion is, of course, where you build your project. So it's important to understand the layout and the indicators that you see in here. First of all, LumaFusion supports up to six tracks of video plus audio and an additional six tracks of audio only. Incidentally, those video plus audio tracks can be used for audio only if you'd like. In the bottom left corner, you'll see the track head indicator, which once open gives me a little bit more control over the individual tracks. From here, I could mute a track, hide a track, or lock a track so I can't accidentally change something. You'll also see in here linking and insert and overwrite controls. Those are things that we'll explore in another video. At the bottom of the timeline, you'll see a row of numbers. Those numbers indicate the time code of the project. Time code in LumaFusion is read out in hours, minutes, seconds, and frames. However, LumaFusion doesn't show you the time that it doesn't need to show you. So for example, if your project is only a minute and a half long, you're not going to see a zero placeholder for hours. You'll just see the minute, seconds, and frames. As you zoom into the project, you'll see that the resolution of that time code indicator increases, showing me finer and finer detail. If I zoom in far enough, you'll see that the playhead turns white. Once it turns white, that indicates that I'm looking at a single frame of video under the playhead. If I zoom back out, you'll see it goes blue, showing me that I'm seeing more than a single frame. And as I zoom back in, it goes to white again. No matter where you are on the project, if you ever want to zoom into the frame level, simply triple tap anywhere on the timeline, and that'll zoom you into the frame level, triple tap again, and it'll zoom you back out. Also, if you ever want to see the entire project from a bird's eye view, just double tap on the timeline, It'll zoom out to show you the entire project, and then double tap again to take you back into it. And that's all there is to it. Pretty straightforward, but important to know the details of how the timeline works.